sunrise is just a few short minutes away, but we're already seeing plenty of sunshine filtering through and notice we do have some clouds and they're going to stay with us on and off throughout the day, but you're mainly going to have strict sunshine. So don't forget to add some sunscreen. I know it seems a little crazy because it feels so nice, but you know that sun's still going to be coming down So make sure you are protecting your skin and we want to protect you and make sure you are aware of what's happening in the tropics. We've got three situations. We've got a tropical wave and just ahead of the tropical wave we do have Friona and behind that we have tropical storm Gaston. Gaston, I know, is a serious name around here. It did a lot of damage, caused a lot of flooding. Many business even had to shut down. But I'm going to explain everything so you don't panic, but you are aware. We do have this tropical depression, Friona. We've been talking about her for days. Continue to edge just to the west-northwest at 13 miles per hour. But look how the code ends up edging just a bit to the north as we go right around Friday at 2 a.m. Well, it does look as if it was going to edge towards the east coast. But you take a look at some other model runs and they are indicating more of a southerly twist edging closer over into portions of Florida as well as heading into the Gulf Coast. Not necessarily the best spot because we have received so much rain in those locations, but that is where it's looking to be right now. Of course, we'll continue to pinpoint that. Here's Gaston already a tropical storm edging looking to be a hurricane category one heading into the next several hours and then continue to stay that way as it edges closer to the west northwest right around 20 miles per hour. Sustained winds currently are at 50 miles an hour and of course they will go up once it does turn into a category one. We're still several days out. The end of this is right at Sunday and of course we still got to edge it closer to the north. It could go to the west, it could go to the east. We will keep you updated. Just be aware and of course plan accordingly. 65 degrees right now. Dew points are in the 60s and since we are dealing with a lower moisture content, we're able to fluctuate the temperature. So we're starting out on the cooler side in the 50s and 60s. By the afternoon, we're going to warm back up into the 80s but still feeling nice. A few clouds are likely across central Virginia. It's not going to be cloudy. You'll just see a few fair weather cumulus clouds today as well as going into tomorrow. However, Thursday, you will notice more cloud cover across the area. Humidity will be up and so will our temperatures as temperatures will then approach 90 degrees. 85 today, 86 going into tomorrow, 90 for your Thursday, feeling like the mid 90s, 92 for your Friday and Saturday, but it's going to feel closer to the lower triple digits. So enjoy the two days that we have. And of course, don't fret about the tropics. We'll make sure you are safe and informed. Rob Reba. All right,